friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. This is yet another interview chat with a, an Inspire photo retreat speaker. And this time I'm speaking with Emily Summer, a Portland photographer, uh, a phenomenal teacher as she teaches at the Roots Workshop and she founded the Roots Workshop. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about all of that, but today we're really interested in getting a sense of what Emily is going to be presenting at Inspire. So Emily, welcome to the show. The short and brief show. <laughs> Thank you, Sushi. I appreciate it. It's great to connect with you. Um, you're, you know, you're, you're a photographer. You've been a photographer for many years. You were a photo editor. Uh, you know, you you've just seen tons and tons of pictures, um, and clearly, you've made tons and tons of pictures as well as a photographer. Uh, tell us a little bit about how all of all of that experience uh, sort of comes in handy when you when you stand in front of a crowd and teach people? Sure. Well, um, first, I just want to say that this is actually my first Inspire. I'm really excited to both be a part of it um, as a presenter and also attend. It's pretty awesome that it's coming to Portland. So I'm excited to welcome everybody yeah. to our hometown. Absolutely. I know, right. So if anybody needs any help or guidance making their plans or wants to know anything about the city or is stopping by before February, please look us up. Um, but circling back to what you just asked about, um, my background is in photojournalism through and through my degrees in photojournalism from Syracuse University. And then I worked at USA Today and the Washington Post before starting in this wedding world. So I don't really know much differently because I was trained in such a specific way that um, this it's ingrained in me. This is part of who I am. And um, when I go to photograph a wedding or if I'm teaching or whatever the case might be, I, I draw from those photojournalism roots every time. So for Inspire specifically, I am going to be speaking about how to bring associates into your photography business. For me, I did this five years ago now. This is my 11th year photographing weddings. And about halfway through, I was missing that newsroom camaraderie that I had when I was working in newspapers and felt like the best way to do that was kind of to uh, grow my business and bring in some of those colleagues that I was missing from a newspaper environment. So at this point, we have four other photographers that are working for us and we are like extended family. And it's been both that uh, personal relationships um, and that kind of interaction that I was missing from the newsroom and also the opportunity to teach and grow as a group that's been really fascinating and uh, fun. Let me ask you a question that might come up uh, when you do present at Inspire, but uh, I'm sort of preempting that. When you do bring in associates, uh, yeah. you know, who have their own style and approach to photography, uh, how do you manage to create a body of work for your clients that sort of uh, echoes your own uh, brand? Sure. Well, it's definitely most and the most important thing is to find people that are similar in style and similar in personality and that will be out there representing your brand as you would. Mm -hmm. um, so we have had people who have wanted to work with us before whose style isn't photojournalism. Um, it isn't documentary. It isn't sort of real life gritty. It's more polished and pretty and that's wonderful or whatever the case might be, but it's not in line with what we do. So mm -hmm. When clients are looking at our work, we want to make sure that it doesn't scream, you know, one person's work doesn't jump out as being totally different. We want everything to be as uniform as possible. So uh, that's the most important thing. So I'm assuming you have a, a fairly long uh, process of vetting a photographer, watching how she or he works and approaches clients and things like that, and also the final body of work needs to be somewhat resonant of the work that you've, you've established yourself as, as, as doing in the, in the area, right? Exactly. Okay. It's um, definitely been trial and error, but that's what we'll talk about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Friends. Well, that's, that's exciting stuff. I mean, I know, I know, I know other photographers who are looking to expand and probably don't have the, 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 the sort of the, the, 
the steps that they may need to take to to go that way. Uh, but having, I guess, the brand and the the approach sort of that you've established yourself uh, right is so important, so crucial. Um, let's talk a little bit about Roots Workshop because it's something that I've always wanted to go to but never been able to because of timing and all that. But next year, next year absolutely. Um, tell us, tell us, what is Roots? What does Roots do for photographers exactly? Oh man, Roots is my pre-baby baby. I love it. It's um, it's photography camp for adults, basically. Okay. Um, and it, it's a photojournalism experience. So we're not talking about weddings. We're not photographing a wedding. It has nothing to do with posing people or workflow or anything like that. It's purely concentrating on your craft and becoming a better photographer. I think it's really important that people take the time to do that and get better. Everyone that I see tends to concentrate on, oh, I got to have the best gear or I have to emulate what my competition's doing or whatever the case may be. And I, I really feel strongly that people need to take time and look inward and improve that way. And this is uh, a, almost a week long experience that allows people to do just that. And it's, uh, it's really, it's life changing. It's fun. It's hard work. It's little sleep good food and uh, it's on the coast of Maine. So our next one will be next May, early May. We just wrapped one last month and had a blast. So the gist, if I may uh, let you know, it's um, people, the students are given editorial assignments. So they're out photographing a lobster man or um, a, gosh, I don't know, a theater or a, or a nudist, teacher. Or, or, or a nudist colony. <laughs> yes, yeah, we did that in Cape Cod. <laughs> um, yeah, the workshop used to be based on the Cape, and now we've moved it to Maine, closer to home. So, um, But uh, everything that everyone photographs can be directly applied to weddings. It's just a matter of having this um, That's great. sort of incubator for the week that allows it to... Do you have dates for next year already? planned? Do you have the dates set? We do. We haven't announced them yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I won't press you. I won't press <laughs> you for it. That here, but yes, soon. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Emily. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's always fun talking to you uh, because uh, I feel like you and I have been sort of cut from the same cloth. We come from a photojournalism background. Uh, we're excited about uh, seeing documentary photography and, and, and photographing events in a, in a real authentic manner um, and I'm sure those who are going to be at Inspire are going to get so much out of your presentation uh, so thank you so much for giving us a little little glimpse of what's coming in, in February right. February 2015 exactly thank excited you. thank you for the opportunity thank you very much bye okay. <laughs> bye <laughs>